Guys, you must use this new engine oil for GDI and turbocharged engines. With the new oil standard, LSAC GF6A, LSAC GF6B, and API SP. These are backward compatible with the API SN, the LSAC GF5. Now, I will say there's been a huge improvement since I've used this motor oil. And you know I have a GDI engine probably with the worst carbon buildup on the intake valves you've ever seen. Now we've used a lot of cleaners and etc. But I wanted to find out with the new improvements on the NOAC volatility scores, can we actually stop it with engine oil alone? Well, you can see the major reduction in the oil catch can. After using this method for a really long time, it did help, but still, it was very bad. But now with the new engine oil, guys, there's been this massive improvement. Now, we all know that with this new engine oil, the LSPI was a big issue, low speed pre-ignition. But that was one of the things they actually wanted to accomplish with the new engine oil because the oil vapor getting into the combustion chamber can cause pre-ignition. Guys, you can do some serious damage to your engine. This is particularly the case when you have a turbocharged direct injection engine. They're under much more pressure, intense heat, so many more problems. You need to cool down the turbo and lubricate it so the oil is really having to do more work with these newer engines. Not to mention time and chain wear. You ever hear your vehicle's time and chain when you start your vehicle up? And does it continue for a prolonged period of time? If so, this is not good, obviously. And the extensive time and chain wear that's been taking place within people's engines is another issue they needed to solve. But I will say they can't really blame this on the oil these car manufacturers are making these chains smaller and smaller, thinner and thinner. I mean, it's unbelievable. You would think they would want to make something to last to try and help their reputation out, but that's just not the case. Apparently, they're not really concerned about that sort of thing. So they want to just make sure that it gets them through the warranty period and it's basically on the engine oil manufacturer to make all the necessary improvements. But I will say, with fuel consumption, they have made an improvement as well. Fuel economy is obviously on the list of to-dos for engine oil companies. They really got the work cut out for them. I mean, yes, it's a very small change, but it all adds up in the grand scheme of things, especially with plastic intake manifolds, plastic water pumps. I mean, you name it. Obviously, they're trying to make vehicles to not really be built to last anymore. But I just wanted to let you guys know the major improvement that I had gained from using this new motor oil. I had been watching it for a while and really I couldn't believe it. I just kept checking things out and was thinking to myself, wow, what an improvement, but really, what's doing all this? And then I noticed, well, the only thing I've really changed is the motor oil. I've used this newer engine oil and it's actually made a great difference. I mean, it's almost non-existent. So, I really wanted to point that one out to you guys. If there's any tips you can give to help people out with their carbon buildup issues, please do so. I always tell people if they can't do any expensive repairs or maintenance themselves, like pulling the intake manifold off and doing that very often, depending on how bad the carbon buildup is, well, just use a little spray cleaner and follow your car manufacturer's recommendations before using any engine oil or cleaner. Guys, if you'll do this just periodically, I mean, it really does go a long way. You know, it's not very hard. It's actually really easy. You just follow the instructions. I've never had a problem myself. I've been doing it a long time. Never destroyed any catalytic converters or none of those other uh, bogus rumors that you hear. I'm not sure what those people are doing, but I follow manufacturers recommendations. As always, guys, I want to thank you for watching Nate's Interactive Auto.